All right, here we're going to do a quadruped breathing variation with our forearms elevated on a box. We're going to want to make sure we're accessing the space we have available to us. So for Greg, that may be further outside of his shoulders for, than it would be for somebody else. If that's the case, we're going to make sure we have our medial elbow contacts down. And we're going to have our hands flat with some pressure on the inside thumb pad. That's all I got. Is there anything more to it? Uh, maybe just talk about the breathing. Like just in through the like where we're getting where we want to feel expansion. Yeah, Reach. or just even just say that you know, we're supposed to breathe. Okay. Yep. Just on. Here we have a quadruped breathing variation with our elbows inverted. Here we have a quadruped. <laughs> Stop laughing. Here we have a quadruped breathing variation with our elbows elevated on a box. Greg's knees are going to be directly underneath his hips. Now his elbows are elevated and he's going to have his medial elbow contacts if he needs to access the space outside of his frame and have his inside hand contacts down as well. He's going to breathe in through the nose. As he breathes in through the nose, he should feel some anterior expansion and out through the mouth. We want to make sure we're reaching our elbows gently into the box to ensure that we're not closing off the DR space or posterior space behind us as we're breathing.